Um, First up, we have a public hearing on the local law uh, regarding New York State Solar Permit. Katie, will you read the chapter and verse? Please take notice that the public hearing will be held in the order of proceedings of the village of Newport on June 11, 2014, at 7.30 p.m. A public hearing regarding an amendment to chapter 86 of the Newport Village Code proposed amendment to the Newport Village Code in Article 3 A Solar Energy Permanent Process Section 86 15.1, whereby the installation of standard solar energy systems can be standardized, simplified, and accelerated in the municipal, uh, municipalities across New York State in accordance with the New York State Solar Permit Process. Thank you very much. Is there anyone here to speak to this? No? Ariana, you wanted to say a little bit, 30 seconds for the camera about what this is about? Um, this came from New York, right? Yeah, it, it did, yes. Um, really, it's just, we have nothing on our code books allowing for solar power or permitting it or any way for it to be uh, allowed. So in order to apply for a grant that would get us money for solar, which we would like to do on some of our street lights, we have to have a law in place that allows for solar energy in our community. So that is where this came from. Um, Pat Courtney Strong had emailed us the grant information. Um, I've been working with Will, the attorney, and Brent, our village planner, on the application itself. And uh, this is just a piece of it. Um, and Will said that even if we, Will, our attorney, said that even if we were not looking to apply for this grant, it is good for us to have solar permitting on the books and this law that shows that we encourage solar energy. Great, thank you. Yeah. All right, with that, I'll move to close the public hearing. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I'll move to add this to the agenda then. Okay. Well, There's a resolution from the village attorney for that. Okay. Um, we're going to move the reorg section of the meeting to the end because um, we have some appointments to make uh, beforehand. So, with that, would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? <laughs> Thank you. All right, so I've got some changes to go over, so I'll just run down my list. Um, at the request of the trustees, removal of consent agenda items 8, 9, 10, and 11, and add those to the regular five. meeting. Number five, also. Mm -hmm. Oh, I well, got I guess now it's one of these. Sorry. No, it's still number five. Okay. Number five, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Remove from the consent agenda and move to the end of the agenda. Um, Twelve is off. I'm looking at the new agenda. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, which has no twelve. Ah, it's this one. Yeah, twelve is already off. It's all right. Um, so I'd like to, if there, unless there's an objection, I would like to add three things to the consent agenda. One is hiring of uh, one of the, our summer health positions. Yeah. The so second is the Allen Sledge contract, which yeah. is sole source. And third is the en masse reappointment of Katie Silberger, Jason Rosenberg, David Kakamo, Tom Olson, Agnes Devereaux, and Susan Wentz to their respective boards and commissions with the, res uh, the terms added by the clerk um, after the fact. Yep. And Katie, you realize Mr. Kakamo's reappointment is yes, from have. last year. Yes, you got that. Yes. Okay. Right. Um, so what next, about Brins? Hold on, I'm, I'm going through my list. So, um, next, I would like to remove items number 12 and 13, pending our meeting with the building department. Mm -hmm. uh, though I will, I would like to point out that in your packets, uh, as requested, is the secret documentation from our village attorney on the, uh, for the housing law and environmental assessment form. That's in the packet. It's in the packet. Yeah. yeah. So just as an, as an FYI. Mm -hmm. Um, finally, to uh, several additions, one is a letter from our uh, Director of Planning regarding a CFA grant for Green uh, Village Code. It will be a letter of support. Next is uh, repeal of obsolete fire uh, safety requirements in the code. Next would be the appointment of a fire board. And finally, the solar permitting law, action on that. In the delete.
questions, we're going to call for a hearing at the same time. Yes, the resolution. When we get to that. When we get to it, yeah. We'll do that. All right. So I'll move those changes to the agenda. Now, because we have a new agenda, we're taking park use requests off black, the yep. old nine, the old ten, and the old eleven. Correct. Okay. And tabling. 12, 13, and adding those that I suggest, mm -hmm. including those to the consent. Uh, is there a second to my motion? Yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 I'm sorry, before I made that, is there any, are there any other additions or changes to the agenda? I'm exhausted already. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you, you got it. All right. Yeah. All right, well then let's go right into public comments. Um, anyone here to comment publicly? Mr. Kakanen. Yeah, um, the reason I'm here, number one, is because you had down on here to prove plaque. A lot of had the plaque for I don't know how long, two, three years. And there's the plaque. <laughs> and the reason it hasn't gotten put on there, and the other one was not stolen, I have that one also. The other one was beat up with a rock or something. Very disrespectful of uh, our Japanese friends from our sister city. So we have a new plaque made. It's, it's a much heavier uh, material. And I will talk to Blue about getting it put on, because it has to get put on properly so that if somebody does start beating on it, it won't, the same thing won't happen. And what that means is it needs thin set so that the whole underneath side, because the rock is not even over there, the whole underneath side is absolutely level, and then this has to be secured to it. Um, the reason that I didn't put it on is because in New Paltz International Exchange Association, um, we were talking about moving the sculpture over to uh, the community center behind the town hall. And that didn't come to fruition, so uh, I think that was sometime last summer. Anyway, I was in Japan, and then since then I've been having surgeries and so forth. So on, haven't had time to do anything with anything. Um, so anyway, here's the plaque, and I don't know if it's okay with the board. I'll go see Blue, and we'll get it put on it. Uh, that's the first thing. Second thing is, I'm very upset about the stream. The board had approved me supervising the laying of the stone in the stream. Well, it went on and on and on and on, and I kept contacting uh, Roar's foreman. And Nothing happened, and I took off for Japan. Well, before I went to Japan, I went and spoke to the man. I explained exactly how this should be done, what it should look like, and he assured me he knew what I was talking about, that he had done these things before, and don't worry about it. It's horrible. There is nothing natural about that stream. I defy anybody to show me a stream that's lined with flat blue stone. It's terrible. And he did exactly what I told him not to do with the other stones. Now I assume that you paid him already and that's the end of that and we're stuck with what we've got. But for the record, I'm stating it's terrible. It, it, it was a horrible job. I don't think he should ever have another contract in this village for anything like this again. And the other thing, the third thing I'll pick up with Blue. <laughs> All right, thank you, David. Any other public comment? John. Hello. Um, so I, I received in the mail uh, yesterday um, uh, order to remedy. It says uh, roof in disrepair. A few months back, I took a chimney down. Uh, that was up against the side of uh, my building, and um, it left a two foot by 12 inch space 
um, in the old bank. And uh, for the record, it, I think it looks unsightly. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll admit to that. Um, the reason that it was never repaired is I had plans to take the house down. Um, so I figured, why put the effort into it? I'm hoping to take the house down shortly, um, but that's no longer my plan. So I'm here to apologize that the community had to look at, at this eyesore for a few months. Um, and it will be uh, taken care of in a very timely fashion. I was hoping to do it today. I got the thing yesterday. I was hoping to do it today, but it was raining and I didn't feel like going up on the ladder. Uh, I know the feeling. But with that said, um, I, I, I have a problem with um, these walk walkthroughs, these so-called um, neighborhood walkthroughs looking for the quality of life and aesthetic, um, whatever you want to call it, just uh, improvement. I love the idea of it. It's, it's, it's great. Um, it made me go around and look at all my other houses with the, with the sharper eye, and I see some things that, that, that need taken care of. And from that point, um, I applaud the, the board for having these walkthroughs. I, there's no reason the garbage can should be out on the lawn. I got one of those as well on another property. Um, there, there's really no reason for it. I'll be the first to admit it. Um, but the, what I have a problem with is two of my neighbors adjacent to this property, their roof, their overhangs are completely rotted out to the point where they're, they're, they're crumbling, they're falling. That's one house. The other house adjacent to me has a blue tar over the roof. Um, so I asked the building inspector just to verify what I was being cited for. And he told me, and I agree with it, like I said, but then I asked him if the neighbors received any notice to remedy. And he told me, no. Uh, so my question is, why was I singled out? Why was my house singled out when my neighbor's house was literally, I could take all of you there 10 times worse, but yet they didn't get one. And, and, and that's, that's the, what I would like to know from the board. And I, I, I don't, I'd rather not have an answer, well, we didn't see that. Well, if you saw mine, you didn't see that one? Um, so during these walkthroughs, um, maybe there should be some people with, with better eyesight on it. I, I, don't, I don't know, but, but one thing I can say is I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I feel like I was profiled because my house is a rental, and I was profiled because of that. My two adjacent neighbors who are owner-occupied, nothing, nothing for them. You know, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. So, so that's, that's, that's my issue. And that's, that's my issue with the new housing standard law. Because it doesn't hold everyone accountable um, fairly and equally. Thank you, John. Um, uh, I can assure you no one is being singled out because they're a landlord. Um, it's just not what's happening. Uh, and. I don't know. I was on that walk. Sally's been on most of them. I wasn't well, on that. Not one. that one. No. Yeah. But she could tell you what happens on has happened on the subsequent ones at least. I know there were a lot of people on that one walk. There were, I think 14 of us, and we we did invite all the all the people yeah. who live in the street. I, I, was, the I, was, I was invited. I okay, good. I'm, I hope, yeah. just, I I, hope I, you got I, the invitation. I could have been there. And, it, and though, because it's hard, I can't prove a negative. You know, I don't remember the houses in question. But if it wasn't listed, it was either 
not noticed, or it was that who, the people who we had taking notes were pulled in a couple different directions and missed one. And that's just all there is to it. I mean, we're not, this is not a, a it's whoever shows up and we've got some it, village it, staff it, there. With all due respect, I do not buy that for a minute. Well, I was there and I know I didn't, and I know if, if I had seen it, I would have pointed it out, John. No, that, that. Excuse me, John. I, I know, I can tell you that, that if I had seen it because I was there and I was, I was feeding information to the building inspector who was there, and the planning board secretary was there, and the planner who was there, as well as everyone else. I can tell you, I'm not speaking for anyone else. If yeah. I had seen it, it would have been on a list. Yeah. Everything I've seen has gotten on the list. Yeah. And I think is, is it possible to get a list of, of um, everything that came back that day? With, uh, with I suppose so, unless there's some reason that the violation. Unless there's some reason that it would buy, that it's a privacy thing. I don't. Other than that. If it's foilable, it's it's gettable. Yeah. Call the building department tomorrow, and they can they yeah. can tell you whether, whether they can give it to you, and, yeah. and I'm going to get it. Though I did, I do have your address down. I'm going to be sending out the building inspector to that section of the street to look at it, things again yeah. on either side of 46. Yeah. You said it was 46 Church. That's that's my house. And right, and on, on either I, side I, of yours. I would like probably. to make it clear that I'm not here to. Um, rat out my neighbor for no no one concern. Um, you know what? They have their lives they're living. You're here to make sure the law is being enforced equitably. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? If that's if that's what happens, you know, I mean, you know, I drove around this this community just looking, and you know, you could find something wrong with everyone's house, mm -hmm. um, without a doubt. Um, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. Um, you know, it's. And that doesn't mean that, you know, everything needs to be, you know, if, if that's the community we want to live in, then maybe we should go live in Rhinebeck or I Beverly Hill. I thought you said you'd love to see it become like Rhinebeck here. <laughs> you know, there's problems. There's houses on the lawn. There's, there, there is problems. Right. But, let, let's just be fair, please. That's all we're doing. We're doing our is best. To be fair, and what's what's good for this person is good for that person. It's you know. It's, it's I can assure you, we have a meeting tomorrow, and I will inquire as to the question you have raised, because I think all of us are interested in equitable, fair treatment. That, if you recall. The last meeting I talked about poison ivy. I'm sorry, we have a rule about poison ivy. We're enforcing it on people who own property and I say the village itself better clean up its act because yeah. we've got a lot of poison ivy In our on our property. Yeah. Now, so are you so I'm, we're I'm trying. I'm allergic to poison ivy. Hmm? I'm, I'm allergic to, I look Most at people poison are. ivy, I blow up. Um, my point, my point, John. Are you allowed to spray it? Fair is fair. Yeah, you no, know, that's the, no. Yeah, so how do you? Uh, yes, I pull it? mine out. We cannot spray it. Like the village oh, okay. cannot yeah. spray it. On your own property, we are not yeah, you saying that. How do you do? Wait, wait. That's a whole. It's wait, a whole wait, other conversation. Wait, wait. We're what are we doing? Here? This is public comment. Yeah. Yeah. We're now engaged in a conversation about how to get rid of poison ivy. <laughs> Well, we're not engaged. No, we're trying to talk Tom, about the Tom fact wanted, that we Tom had something to say, actually. I did have something to say. So. I do not often like to uh, engage in discussion during public comment yeah. because it's public comment. Yeah. But I want to say, uh, in defense of the village and its walk around, that I was cautioned after the walk around on Platico Avenue, and the next day, in spite of rain, I went out and I cut leaves off of my lilac plant, which were overhanging the sidewalk, and I trimmed my uh, spruce tree, not a blue spruce, a regular spruce, but I trimmed my spruce tree so that it would not hang down over the sidewalk. The next day, after I got a warning, well, my husband beat you because I did because I got there faster than they could do that. <laughs> my husband, we got a warning also because our lilies were over the sidewalk, yes. and I went home and he was very upset. 
But, uh, and, and it, sometimes all You're coming you know, up on your three minutes, just seeing uh, that. How about that 30 seconds? You got 30 seconds. You know, sometimes all people need is a suggestion, you know, that doesn't look so good, you know, like, like, like a piece of paper, like, like something. You know, but, but let's not start hanging people and pitting neighbors against neighbors because because um, someone has a a lily hanging over their sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's thanks. Sean. Let's be fair. Adele and then Lynn. I just I have a question that you can answer me with that. Um, you know, the idea of the walk around sounds really great. I wanted to join a couple of them. Um, and, but, but my question is, because I see, well, I did see some of you guys um, walking in and out of people's backyards onto their properties on, on these walk-arounds. I mean, I noticed it myself. And I'm curious, I mean, are you allowed to do that? Just like walk on people's properties unannounced, go in their backyards, come out, find things, and, no, to my knowledge, and to my knowledge, no one has gone into anyone's backyard. I don't know. Yes, I saw it. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, if it was yours, I apologize. It wasn't no mine. No one's supposed to be. Yeah. No, it wasn't mine, but it was during the walk. Yeah. It wasn't my backyard. Well, I'll, I'll so start reminding people ahead of time. Who were on the walk? What? Was the backyard yes. was the people who were on the walk? Okay. Yes, coming out of the backyard. I saw two on the same block coming out of backyards twice. So my feeling is, I mean. To turn something nice like a walk around into something that it's not is really inappropriate and it's tacky, mm -hmm. right? You're not supposed to be on someone's property without asking. Yes, I'll people. start warning people before we start the walk. Exactly. About that. Yeah. Jason, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, Leonard. I have a simple one. I was asked by someone on the rescue squad if when you do these walkthroughs can you please make sure that the houses have numbers on them yes. we've so been checking they can find we've been checking the houses yeah we've been checking okay yeah, thank you so we actually found two i think at mm -hmm. the last couple of right oh, yeah. i just want to say i've been on several of the walkarounds and when the neighbor you know has his neighbor has his neighbor and has been alert to not going on private property so if this was an early one, well, it's not the first one, but if this was an early one, we may just not have had our act together at that point. But the fact of the matter is that the last two, Brennan made a point of saying, I don't think we can go there, that's uh, not, that's private property. I'm not clear about one thing though, and we may want to get clear about this. My understanding is when the building inspector is with us, if the building inspector see something at a distance that is a health or safety issue, like what might be exposed to water or something like that, that I believe he is able to go mm -hmm. and look, even if that's on fire. Adjust the building. Yes, 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 yes. So, uh, but I think that it would be good to be really, get really clear about that. That's a good point. Katie, where are we walking tomorrow night? And if you'll give me one second, I will happily talk. Because everybody who wants to can join us. And it's on the front page of the website, and I update it as frequently as, and just give you once, and I'll be delighted to tell you. I just don't know off the top of my head. Look out in South Oakwood Terrace. And Center okay. Street. And Center. I just found out later today that and and Central, that Center Street will So Center. if anyone is watching this right now, there will be representative, representatives from the village walking Lookout Ave, South Oakwood Terrace, and Center Street, along with any neighbors who would like to join us. And we meet any members of the public, frankly, who would like to join us. And we'll meet yeah, at 6 o'clock down here, outside the door. Center and West Center. Center and West Center, thank you. All right, any other public comment? Jason, I'd like yeah. to ask a question about this ladder truck that the fire company wants to build. Do we get any kind of money from the college for that? No. Why are we obligated to buy a new fire truck then? Well, because our old one is nearing the end of its life cycle, so we have to replace it. But is there anything wrong <clears throat> with it? Well, no, it's in good repair. We keep it in good repair. If there's anything wrong with it, we'd have another one here. Yeah. But just so you know, the ladder truck was not, and the fire chief has corrected me on this several times over the years, um, several fire chiefs actually. Uh, the ladder truck was not bought because of SUNY. 
that people think that the reason we even have a ladder truck is to reach the top levels of the skyscrapers on campus. It's not. It's more for Main Street. And, and what he, the example he uses is uh, the thesis fire, which was, I think, in the late 80s, early 90s. Um, having the ladder truck there means we can angle, get angled above the buildings and move from one to another and kind of have more area to act in a small, con congested downtown. So that's why we have a ladder truck. That's its primary function. It's just um, not a happy coincidence. I'm sure it was another reason to get it, having those tall buildings. But we, st we, would, we would have a ladder truck even if SUNY wasn't here. Well, because we got the ladder truck after that was built. Right. So, but we would still okay. have one. We would still have one according to the fire chief. That, that makes sense. Leonard? I don't remember the man's name, but he was at one of the Wilbur Wright's hearings. And he had said that they, from the college, that they would like to be a good neighbor. So this is a wonderful opportunity to knock on their door and ask them if they would still like to be a good neighbor. I realize they provide us with fuel for these trucks, but it doesn't hurt to ask. The most they can do is say no. Right. Yeah. That's a good point. Thank you. And you say please. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you, hopefully. Uh, all right. Any last comments? Yeah. I just want to ask you. Do you want me to just bring this to Bloom? I mean, are you going to vote we on can, it tonight? Do you want me to leave uh, it here? It's a different plaque issue, but we can, you can leave it here, or if you're going to see Bloom, you can just drop it off with him. Whichever, I can drop it off with him. Whichever is easier for you, dude. I mean, there, you know, you're going to... Do you want to right? help? No, we're, we're approving a different plaque tonight. Yeah, we're marker. talking about a different plaque what altogether. Plaque the historical marker. So, but it, you, you can either leave it with me or, or leave I'll it with Bloom. Okay. I want to talk to him about it. Okay. Great, thank you. But that's why... Katie recommended that you get in touch with Blue so that the two of you can agree on how it gets adhered to the surface. Yeah. All right. So I'll um, close public comments. I'll move the modified consent agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Moving right down, Tom, to number 14. Discussion on uh, supplemental budget for uh, phase two of the. Can we do that now? It's next on the agenda. Next on the agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, and congratulations on your reappointment, David. You've just been reappointed. Thank you. <laughs> I sent uh, you a uh, copy of a memorandum that I had sent to Dan Richard uh, of DEP explaining uh, the <laughs> request for additional funds. As uh, you could easily guess, I am not the person who uh, did the budgeting for this since I am uh, a liaison to this uh, group and I'm uh, overseeing their activities on behalf of the uh, village, but um, I wouldn't have the confidence to have done the budget modification for water exploration phase two. Um, but the memorandum uh, explains why we need a budget modification for water exploration phase two. We already, as a board, extended the length of the contract and activities engaged in water exploration for a two-month period. And in the uh, interim, the interim starting the very evening that we approved the extension, uh, there have been uh, a sequence of issues relating to neighbors wells along Pla neighbors along Plains Road and uh, it has taken a great deal of the uh, time and energy of the team to deal with that and indeed uh, all uh, well exploration and testing has stopped since that evening. Uh, we have done additional uh, sonar uh, work that is mapping the, um, the structure of the earth in that area in order to uh, determine the extent of the well field, but we've done no additional work. That means that we're uh, deferred and uh, we will have to uh, rent the equipment all over again and so forth. The details uh, of that are in the summary of supplemental budget modification request, which was prepared by Dave Clauser with the uh, assistance of the folks from Chazen. So this is a request. Um, it does not commit us 
uh, as a village to spending any additional money, but it is a request to DEP uh, that they fund the activities that would be ongoing from now until the end of August. That's enough. Is that enough? Yes. Or is that too boring? Right. <laughs> I don't think All right. I will move I mean, I already to know. approve <laughs> requesting of DEP an amendment to their budget and to the contract that exists between the village of New Paltz and New York City Department of Water um, in the tune of $302,500. No, 300, I'm sorry, Sal. It's actually a total of 363, of which 303, Not 305. Look at the last sentence on the second page. Your budget modification is 302. No, Sal, look at the last sentence on the second page. Now. Of the, of the budget. I see what in the letter, the accompanying letter, is for $303,500 plus $60,500 for contingencies. That's in the letter. Well, so, I'm sorry. I think, did you, did you notice that there's a, several options? So there's there's a flat rate and then there's the optional. Right. And, and so what we want to do is what we is so the total is three hundred and sixty-three three. thousand. So not to exceed. We but want to approve not to exceed. I have broken it okay. between and the contingency. Oh, I see. Prefer it combined. I, let's just do a not to exceed total. Okay, three hundred and sixty-three thousand budget amendment. And are you making that motion? Yes, I did. Okay. Second. And any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thank you. Um, I guess my, my question about it is this is a request. This is a request. And will they, have they indicated whether or not they will grant In that? the same way that they indicated before, uh, when, as you know, when we put in our initial uh, request for funding, it has to go through the whole Right. Uh, structure of DEP and the water board and the comptrollers of office New York City. in New York City. Uh, but we have every indication from the, um, the administration of the Catskill region of DEP that they are strongly in support of this. And that they will see, they will do everything they can to see that we will get it. If we did not get it, we would cease our activities, right? right? Upon expending so, the original budget. So, the, if you want, the motion can show it is understood that the village of New Pods will not assume the cost of this extra request. Right. That's fine with me if you want to add that. No. I would accept that. You would, would like that? that? Okay, good. Uh, so are we voting on the amendment now? Pardon? Did you just amend yeah, we, already, we already voted on If everybody's happy, we can add that. It's been moved and seconded to amend the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. There we go. Simple. All right, thank you, Tom. <coughs> thank you. Uh, next up uh, is uh, I move to authorize, authorize me to sign a uh, Letter of support uh, for the uh, green form based zoning code grant that the building uh, planning director has written. And I, just so you know, uh, this is the same program that the town's uh, Henry W. Du Bois. Um, no, not the Henry no, W. Du Bois. It's another one. This is that. Uh, this is. Right. Well, there was another, there was another application. Anyway, there's another cleaner green communities application out there for new faults, I believe. Yeah, the solar energy. Mm -hmm. Solar energy one. Okay. Um, I spoke with Mark Lauer. This it doesn't change our eligibility. It doesn't change our competitiveness having two applications in. And we've actually done that before with CFA. Remember when we got the sewer money and we got the 50 grand for the for Hazard Park Engineering? Yeah, I mean there's a number of cleaner green communities. Yeah. So, so just there, it's not, yeah, it's, it is separate. Although, along those lines, um, I saw the email from the village planner that we are applying for a TAP grant, the Transportation Alternatives Program, which we sidewalks. have for sidewalks, yes, yeah, which mm -hmm. I, I, we all know when I'm on sidewalks. But uh, we have also supported the town. Of 
applying for both municipalities that same exact grant, which would affect the pot of money um, for the Henry W. Uh, pipelines. It would according, to, according to Blower, it would not affect. I, I saw a, a note that I not that it would not affect. Yeah, for, and the same principle. It's the same pot program. of money, though. This is this is different. The cleaner, greener communities has many different grant applications. That's the very same one. Right. It's broken down into different categories. And, and Mark was Mark was answering me on that both. Okay. He said that when you when you apply when you put in two applications to the same program, it doesn't. Like water down your your chances of winning, or it doesn't. Uh, other than don't expect to get both, because you know except it doesn't. They don't because it's a ranking system. Right. So I, it's, I guess, I guess. it's a point system really more than anything else. Okay. I just I just think you know there are people who I've heard from who are not pleased with us having applied for the TAP right. program. Well, we checked on all that. So if there's some, you can have them call me if they want. Second. Want to hear directly from you or something? You know, that's fine. Um, I just, I just think like there that maybe Brenda didn't know before she went ahead and doing that. No, I, I asked her to double check on that with Mark. Okay. So, um, all right. Now I made the motion. Was it second? Uh, um, all in favor? No, no, uh, just second. Oh, sorry. I think the motion should reflect the amount we're applying for, so that the twenty-five percent is understood. No, I can't. I can't remember except that it's not hundred thousand dollars. Was it a hundred thousand for this? Yep. But she thought that a portion of it would be kind. So well, that's yeah, stated which, in, the in the letter. Yeah. So she said that it would be twelve or thirteen. So, Katie, so I think that reflect in the minutes. Is, are you happy with that? Just to have it noted yep. in the minutes. Okay. Yeah. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Um, I don't have anything with me that repeal the LC fire equipment. Did I miss the paperwork? I did. Um, because um, to repeal. Um, whereas it is the opinion of the village board that the village code sections 86-29, 86-30, 86-31 relating to fire limits districts and sprinkler system requirements have been rendered obsolete by amendments to the code, codes, regulations, rules, and regulations of the state of New York, NYCRR, which have been made subsequent to an act of the aforesaid sections of the village code, and whereas it is the opinion of the village board that the aforesaid sections of the village code should be repealed because current state building requirements set forth in NYCRR surpass and conflict with the requirements of the village code, section 86-29, 86-30, 86-31, and whereas the village board wishes to schedule a public hearing to consider the adoption of a local law repealing village code sections 86-29, 86-30, 86-31, now therefore it is hereby resolved that a public hearing shall be held by the village board with respect to the potential repeal of the village code sections 86-29, 86-30, 86-31 at 7.30 p.m. on June 25, 2014, at the New Paltz Village Hall, 25 Pineville Avenue in New Paltz, New York, and it is further resolved that the village clerk is hereby authorized and directed to cause public notice of such hearing to be given as provided by the law. So moved. Um, I'll second. Any discussion? It actually is my law. What date are you setting, Katie? It's June 25th. Hmm? It's June 25th, I'm next meeting. Okay. Okay, so Jason? Aye. Uh, Rebecca's up here. Um, Sally? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sorry, two yeses, two ayes. And I'll move to appoint a fire review board okay. for the purposes of reviewing a proposed plan before the building, from before the planning board and the zoning board of appeals in the village of New Potts, and we must do this because that's why we're deleting those sections because uh, New York state law has superseded village law, and as a result, there's not enough time between our rescinding of the law and getting the, the project reviewed properly. So that's why we're doing it. Um, and Jason, building inspector Rich Travis? Travis, yeah. Um, Fire Chief McGuire, mm -hmm. and do you prefer Rich Ruth or uh, we, Will Frank? Should we pay our engineer to do this or lawyer to do this? Well, either one. You. Yeah, that's true. It would be in the retainer, I would think. 
Let's uh, appoint Rich Ruth pending Bernier and Larris's approval. Fine with me. Because if they don't have that, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. Because an engineer would be better than a lawyer for. I have a question about this, though. It says if these subsections are immediately removed, then the rest of the sections of the code are going to be removed. Then the request concerning a fire in the district court review would be no longer necessary. But, but the problem, Ariana. So, so we're, this is just for the interim. This is just for this one because by the time we have the hearing, Ask the law. Right. It's going to be a good six weeks before the law goes into effect, and the site, the, the plans right. are before both boards. Okay. So we've got I, I, under, I understand. I'm just okay. double checking that. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. okay. So I so, moved it. Yeah. The, I'll second it. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Is, what, what are you guys talking There Sally? is a proposal for the core business district, which, as you know, is a, f a special fire problem. And in our code, we have outdated code requirements regarding that whole fire issue in that business zone. We're going to, at the recommendation of the planner, remove those three parts because they've been superseded by New York State law. However, because we have them on the books, they still apply. In order to move the project forward for the applicant, to ask the applicant to wait two months before we can get our act together, we have the option of having a fire review board review the plans with the planning board or independently. Jason, it's with, isn't it? It would have to be. Yeah, to review the plan so that the, the process can move more expeditiously. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come on. All right, um, I'm gonna skip around a little bit to the ones I think are no-brainers or short discussions. Um, the solar permit law, I'll move to, unless you want to. All right. What? It's a resolution. Oh, by resolution. Yes, yeah. All right, let's take it as red and uh, I just want to do, I'll um, still move, make the motion. Is there a second? I will. Um, okay, and any discussion? Okay, you want to call the roll? Yes, uh, Mayor Russ? Aye. Uh, Mr. Chair Rose? Aye. Marco? Aye. 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 Thank you. All right. Um, want to do the black next? No, let's do that at the end. Let's get, let's kind of, I don't want to lose no my thinking. paper. Um, Sally, let's move on. Sally, you would, you would ask that the... Uh, I can. Let me back up. Yes. Oh, no, I was going to go on to other Wait. things and do that after. What are um, you doing next? The new hire. We had Roy D. Uh, retired. He's a longtime public works employee. He retired uh, last month. And the head of public works has requested to fill the vacant position of municipal worker one, uh, created by Roy's high, uh, Mr. Henry's retirement. Uh, he would like to hire a gentleman by the name of Tyler Scott for the position. He's worked for the Department of Summer Health in the past three years. Um, and we have in the past trusted the judgment of the DPW uh, superintendent in terms of specific hires for his department. So Sally, you had asked that this be removed from the consent agenda. So you want to address what your yes. concern is? I don't have any, I don't have any concern with the applicant, but I want it understood now, people can vote no on this. I believe that it is part of the job description of our buildings and grounds and park people that they take care of the poison ivy in the park areas and that this board not expect the taxpayers to pay a separate firm to be employed to remove that poison ivy. And I am happy to support this new hire if it is understood that, yes, our department will pull the poison ivy. If they aren't going to do it, then I will use the money that this employee represents in terms of hiring and hire the consultant. 
Well, uh, and that's the choice, as far as I'm concerned. I, I'm not saying that the, the, there isn't merit to the two issues. I would really think it. Un, I think it unwise to hitch the two together to make filling a vacant, a needed vacant position in the village, conditional on one thing being done. Um, I think is, is unwise, especially because I'm still trying to work with Blue to figure out. We st I'm still waiting on, on the final price from a company to remove it, so I can put it before the board, whether it gets voted down or up or whatnot. Um, I'm also still looking with Blue at natural ways to remove the poison ivy from the parks. Are you um, willing to table this until you have the answer? I would uh, no, because I really don't want to. I don't want to hold a position hostage to one issue. We need, we need the DPW fully staffed no matter what we do with Poison Ivy. And I think we should have two separate discussions. Okay. I don't, I don't I personally, and that's, so that's, my, that's me. Okay. Ariana, I will. Well, let's, let's, let's let Ariana and Tom speak. Um, I think maybe what I have to say would be best said in executive session. Okay. Dealing with personnel matters. Honestly, it's, it's personnel related. It is, but uh, it's also board related, and I, well, I think we as. What I have to say. Yeah, what I'm you saying, have yeah. to say, yeah. I, 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 make, I couldn't possibly comment on what you might have to say. Uh, what I would have to say is that we as a board can express ourselves as a board, and we can pass a resolution here uh, expressing uh, our understanding of the rules that govern uh, the Department of Public Works and the requirement that poison ivy be cleared. Uh, so okay. while we may not be able to direct those people since the mayor is their Thank supervisor, you. we can as a board uh, pass a resolution indicating our uh, understanding of the, uh, of the responsibilities of the department <coughs> and our uh, unwillingness to pass any resolution or motion that would require additional funding. Well, there's also a third way, a third option, which the mayor may not wish me to do, and that is to move to direct the mayor to direct the DPW oh. that the poison ivy be removed by the DPW employees and that I will also move the hiring of the new employee. So, I mean, those I, are two separate motions. All right. I, I, yes, they are two separate motions. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree I think... with your analysis, but I do, I do think that the consideration of the specific position and you know the person that they want to hire for it should be something separate from. Okay, the then I'll move the first. That the, the, the village board direct the mayor to direct the DPW to remove the poison ivy. I'll second that. Okay. Um, okay. I, it's you can't do that, but I mean, that's my concern. You, you can't direct yes, the mayor to direct staff. I mean, obviously, but obviously, not obviously. Um, all right. Well, let me just vote then. Um, Wait, I would like to say something. Um, uh, very early on in uh, my tenure on the board, which is only a year ago. Uh, but you'd never know it. You act like a pro. <laughs> uh, I, I did uh, have a conversation with, uh, with NICOM folks about the, my relationship to the mayor and my relationship to staff, because there was a minor flap very early on. And uh, I was assured that I can, in fact, interact with the staff and that I can request of the staff anything I need in order to function as a board member uh, and that no one should interfere in my getting any information uh, that I believe is required or that I can show to be required. On the other hand, uh, it was made pretty clear to me that uh, the mayor is the supervisor of the personnel mm -hmm. and that uh, I should not interfere in the mayor's supervision of the personnel uh, who run the departments mm -hmm. in the village. So I would feel loath to uh, say that I now should direct the mayor to direct somebody, which I believe might be an interference 
in the mayor's supervision of the personnel. I would not hesitate, however, to uh, pass a resolution saying that it's my understanding that uh, the uh, poison ivy ought to be cleaned up, and it ought to be cleaned up by the DPW because that's what it says in the rules. All right. Do you want to withdraw your, your I'll motion? go along. I'll withdraw my second. Let me. We'll go with the resolution. All right. This may this may put things into a different mind frame too. Keep in mind, um, I'm glad we unhitched the two issues, so that's good because they they're they both deserve their equal treatment. Right. Um, I guess what I, what I would ask for is that whatever resolution is going to pass, and we're all on the same page. We, the goal is we want poison ivy out of our parks, right? Because not because it's in the law, though that's a good reason, and not because we're asking proper ends to do it, but because we don't want our constituents to get poison ivy when they go to play in the park. We don't want little kids running after a ball and we'll push up with poison ivy. I mean, that's yeah. the goal, right? So, but it also is not but, to have laws that the village board itself thinks it there, is a problem. I'm not saying there aren't corollary issues, but I'm okay. saying the central goal is get this noxious plant out of our parks because yes. it's a harm to our constituents. Um, Blue and I are still working up a proposal about how to do that to present to the village board. So it's really a, a matter of timing. And our recommendation may be to hire an outside uh, person. Um, it may be to if I can find any goats to the last minute, you know, to get a herd of goats there to eat it or whatnot. Um, but we're, we are going to be presenting something to the board because there's going to be the trustees going to make decisions about how to spend the money, about whether this is a wise use of money or, or what. Right. So it, we're just not there yet, is all I'm saying. So um, shall we table this until we get if there? If want to table the poison ivy discussion until our next meeting, we should be done by then. But Jason, my point is if the Department of Public Works believes that this is not their responsibility, which I think it is, then I am concerned that we will sit here in two weeks or a month with a proposal to resolve this issue, meanwhile having spent the money to hire another staff person who's not going to be doing the job. That's well, my concern. Th th think about this, though, Sally. Um, no, well, no one in the public works department, and certainly not Blue, thinks that this is not their department's responsibility. The question is, how how do you take care of that responsibility? And there are some things we do ourselves in house, and some things we hire outside professionals to do. Like we don't we don't install our own sidewalks because we just don't have the manpower to to do that. So we hire roars or whoever gets the bid. So really, the question is, and it may just be something that Blue and I ourselves just laugh off as completely implausible to hire someone to do it. Um, and in that case, we need another plan. But I'm not going to let it slide. I'm not going to just throw up my hands and say, well, we tried. But we need to get this stuff out of, out of the park. It's right, and basic for two years, you have government. been trying to accomplish this. Mm -hmm. And we did ran a bunch of experiments and tested natural. Um, and also I think giving instruction yeah. that it should be done. And, okay. the, and, the, and you have to admit there's a concern. If you're, if you're susceptible to poison ivy, you know, you don't want to expose yourself to things. And whether, this, whether that rises to the level of needing to hire some outsider is something that I want to do to the board when I have all the information. Um, and if it could be just something. Hmm? We, that, we can that, spend money on, that, on, that, on a, you know, full body suits. Yeah. And that's the discussion we'll have. I mean, I know people who just plastic bag their arms and hey. go in there and yeah. do it. Rubber gloves, two plastic bags, and yeah. our son-in-law's uh, waiters from when he was not fishing. Well, and this, this is exactly the conversation I expect to have. It's just I want the prices in hand before I have I, That's all yeah, I'm saying. I'm going to move to table the appointment of the new hiring. Oh, all right. Well, I was, and then okay. be done with it. I hope that fails. Sorry, sorry. Um, Second. You'll second? All right. All in favor of tabling the appointment of the Tyler? Aye. Aye. Are opposed? Okay. Nay. Aye. Nay. Fails for a lack of majority. Yeah. So I'll, well, this is not going to, I don't think this is going to work, but um, given that the motion failed, would either of you consider appointing him tonight? Hmm? Would either of you consider appointing him tonight? No. Nope. Given that the motion failed? Not unless we have. Like I said, I think. I would like to talk discuss this in executive session. And so me, we, I think we should have I would like session to appoint him tonight. Re, re 
but I had think we have to have a better understanding of let's let's, let's let's table this to later in the meeting. We'll have a, a short executive session. Yeah, don't meeting. say table then. Just defer. Defer. Right, mm -hmm. on. right. We'll move on. All right. Um, on a related note, uh, in Sojourn Truth Park, you all might have noticed that the driftwood from the floods piles up and makes, I'm going to guess, a third of the park unusable because it's just a solid mass of wood. Um, and there are down trees in the park, and there was one that we had to actually cut down a, a really old tree that some idiot had lit, lit a fire inside of. Um, there was a little, there was like the, there was a little thing in the hole in the bottom, and they lit a fire at a campfire inside the bowl of the tree. And up, full, up about four feet, it was just char, char inside the tree. And this huge thing, as wide around as the table, was half chewed out by this campfire. Um, so we had to cut that one down for obvious public safety reasons. Um, and so in talking with Blue, I've been obviously I've been working with Blue a lot and trying to figure out how to maintain Sojourner Truth Park better. Um, that's where the Poison Ivy discussion comes from. But another one is uh, I'm constantly bugging him to get the, the driftwood and things out of the park so you can use it or make trails. The problem is, is, the, is that there's no way to get any equipment into the Sojourner Truth Park. The stream that bisects it prevents us from getting in the uh, uh, boat launch side and the, the ramps and stairs. I went and narrow. looked Gary on it. Jason's right. You, you can't get a wood chipper or anything like that or a brush cut, you know, anything with wheels down to where the, the, the logs and such are. So what Blue came up with was uh, to ask permission of the village board because it requires board action um, to allow the DPW to have, uh, to burn the driftwood down at the, at, in the park on rainy days. So what, as Blue described it, he said, they'd pile up the wood, um, and when it was going to rain, they'd throw a tarp over the wood, and then when the park was soaked, they'd burn it, and then over time, we'd eat away at, at the detritus from God knows how many storms, opening up the park for, for more use. So that's the origin of this request. Um, and it was on the consent agenda. Ariana, you had said you had pulled it. You want to talk about your concern? I'm just on down with the um, I don't, I, well, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of reasons. One, I, I feel like a lot of the down tree, I mean, I, I did not go and look, so I, I do not know what this looks like, mm -hmm. but I, I mean, I see a lot of it in my back desk right. on a regular basis. Um, but so, so I'm assuming that it's that area where the bridge is, and Wherever the Turner Street Park yeah. is where the boat launches. It's the whole thing. But then thing. That, that other, the other little area is that where you have to go down right. to. That's the also the Turner Street Park. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's the area. That's right, there. and the spots where the down tree goes. Um, I mean, the the decomposition of the natural area, like you're not supposed to break your, the best thing for your trees in, and the soil is not to rake your leaves, but to let them decompose where they are and the nutrients from the leaves go back into the tree. Um, there's a whole love them and leave them campaign for that very purpose. So I feel like this goes right along with the same idea. Granted, it is a park that is supposed to be more accessible and used, but it is not a park like Hasbro Park. We're not, it's not a ball field that needs to be cleared. It's people going into a more natural environment to enjoy nature. So I, I just, and, and I just don't think, I, I mean, what about the idea of burning, burning, I, I, I trust that on a rainy day, the fire will spread, all, all of these, these different precautions will be taken, but it just doesn't seem like the best idea. What about, what about this thought too, though, that, um, I agree with. I mean, I agree with you on, on lands that are not not parks, not urban, not manicured, not mani not or not yeah. supposed to. You're not not like human, exactly. not human habitat, I guess. I'm sorry. Right. Um, the natural environment. In that natural environment, however, though, we would have periodic fires that would clear this out on, on its own. Um, lightning strikes and such things that, that we would put out now um, allow a buildup of huge wood piles. Now, if we have a long drought, and we've got enormous piles of kindling off of the park, wouldn't that create a, a hazard that would make the burning worth the risk? Controlled burns to get rid of the, the brush that could kill them. The, if we had a, a lightning strike there in the water, you know, and, and that pile caught fire. I mean, that's why they do control burns on the mountain, to prevent the, the buildup of, of, of detritus. It's more than that on the mountain. There's, there's, there's all kinds of species, species that are, yeah, right. that, are right. that only live in But one of the reasons is. Plants that only 
bloom out of, yep. in the seeds that only seeds. Yeah. But the point is to replicate a natural fire that has, and one of those benefits of natural fire is to eliminate understory brush. Right. Well, well, we can vote on it. I'll just yeah. vote now. Tom, any thoughts? I don't. I don't need to convince everybody else. My That's only concern our, uh, uh, is uh, that somebody has checked with the fire, our fire department and the proposed plan is reasonable. I notice, of course, that in the uh, event where we do some uh, uh, public or open air burning, uh, as we do for the uh, holiday trees, Christmas trees mm -hmm. in Hasbro, the fire department is in attendance and w they follow some pretty strict rules on mm -hmm. you know, how to contain that. I would just like to know that they've been consulted. How about this? I'll move, I'll move we approve Blue's request on the condition that the fire chief approves every instance. I would go with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Blue has already done that. But let's put it in the minutes in the motion. All right, I'll, I'll second. second. Okay. I did. Any other discussion? Yeah. Two things. I suggested they burn the boys' knife. <laughs> no. 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 I'm no, teasing it's, you. No, it's a but I did. That's, that's <laughs> I knew that would get a rise. Anyway, what I was hoping, the reason I went to look was I was hoping we could have a summer barn bonfire on Hasbrook Field. But it really, it, it's impossible to get to. Yeah. So, I mean, that's Except why I support it. Yeah. It really is. And it's, so, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Did you see the Ariana's face when I said <laughs> I'm bad. All right, next I have uh, park use. This, again, our, this is what's, the park what use. was your uh, concern about park use? Um, well, there's no insurance. Okay, the insurance and, do, and if we want to leave the insurance, I think we should make that part of a motion. Um, I remember when this happened last year, the young lady came and right. gave us a presentation. I, I'm totally in <clears> favor of her being able to use the park. Um, I just want my question was that insurance. Mm -hmm. my, my question was why did this come so late? Because I looked thinking she should be, have used the new form, and you've had this since May 25th. May 15th. May 15th. Uh, or she just turned it in after signing. There, there, was, there was a hold up on her behalf. She wasn't sure if she was going to. Um, have the event. She's heading, she's done two years at a local college. She's heading off to college. She wasn't sure mm -hmm. if she was going to have the event. She kind of went back and forth. Um, I don't specifically remember any other reason why we would have called that. Well, the reason I ask, Katie, is that we are going to have to understand that this park use is coming in under the old rules, not the new rules that went into effect June 1st. And also, we're going to have to waive the insurance or whatever. Well, they, they actually are willing to supply insurance just like they did last year. They just didn't have the specifics yet. Um, they were going to get it closer to the date just like they did last year. So then, let's, then let's approve require it pending. pending that. Uh, is there any <clears throat> uh, specific uh, directive that we give people? I noticed that they will have amplification. and. Uh, is there anything that we give people that says that you can have amplification, but you still have to have some limit on how much noise there is? The <clears throat> noise, the current noise ordinance vests quiet and amplification. You're not allowed to be too loud. The new form says specifically that the village will not pay for any of this. And well, I this think, says also the yeah. village will not supply so him. We will not supply. So she understands she's got to get her own restrooms and all that kind of stuff. Um, but the, the current noise ordinance covers this park usage now. The, well, part, the do current we give park people use the current, poly, Do we policy. give these people the current noise ordinance? The part, we give them a copy of the park use policies, which have it stated what the noise is allowed. Could I request then whether we need to do a resolution or could I request 
that the noise ordinance be attached to that and given to people. Park use policy. Park use policy. Katie, it is the, which she has because she had to have it to fill that out. Otherwise, I support this. Okay. So that is not you in so the So, is there a motion yep. on the floor? Yeah. Yeah. We've done it. Moved and second, Katie? I did. Uh, Sally moved, I can get a second. Second? second? Yeah. Okay. All right. And it's conditional. You have a conditional on insurance? Yes. Okay. So, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Sally, iPads? iPads. I am opposed to iPads, okay. so I'm not moving. Do you want to wait until Rebecca's here? No. Nope. I'm, I'm also opposed to iPads. Okay. Um, you know, we had, we had a... Are you moving we to buy them, Jason? Tonight. No, I want to wait until Rebecca's here. Um, I'm on the table. Well, well we, let, let me just go back. We had a couple of discussions, one of which the fire chief was here for, and we talked about iPads for the fire department and iPads for the building department. And both of which I am more in favor of than I've had for any of us. I mean, I obviously don't need one because I have one, but um, but I think I think that it could be useful um, for the building department and, and the fire department since Kevin said that there's so many different fire apps, um, mm -hmm. fire department related apps. And this, so this includes three for the fire. I saw that. Yes, um, I knew. But so I would be willing to purchase some of these, provided that they were specific enough for us. So I will move to purchase iPads for the building department and for the fire department, of which I think Kevin requested three. He requested three, so. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm, I really, I'm gonna vote. Um, I, I think since this was Rebecca's idea, I think we should wait for her to be here to discuss it. Well, I, I think we can accomplish uh, by amending the the motion. We can amend the motion uh, for tonight's purpose to just uh, uh, approve the purchase of um, three iPad Air with uh, Wi-Fi and cellular for the fire department which is the second half of the motion, just do that and just drop list. the first half of the motion yep. for tonight's meeting. And we'll table the rest of the motion. Well, do we want to do it for the building department is my yes. question. Well, it's not, on, also, it's not on this motion anyhow, yeah, we but if you want to add that to the... Uh, well, it's not on the agenda, but we could amend... The How many do they need? Do they want them? Well, I mean, I'm well, saying one for... Well, we See, that's one of the problems. Why don't we well, defer we this until we know and then put it on the next? Okay. If we're going to yeah. consider the first part of this amendment at the next board meeting, then uh, we can consider uh, uh, adding, well before that, right. uh, additional iPads or iPads only for the building department. So I just okay. want to make a note to everybody. Yeah. This was supposed to have been done in last year's budget. That's it my is next question. not budgeted for. It is not budgeted for in the building department, as far as I know, and it is, it is not, not budgeted, budgeted for in the fire department. The fire chief no. said that he has he can move things around. Right, but so so my question though is, you know, like I I only have access to Wi-Fi. I do not have like if I go outside and I can't connect to the Wi-Fi in here, I do not have internet. Yeah. So. This is this is buying ones that will have a monthly plan that will allow for is what at least cellular and Wi-Fi that will allow for that kind of connection yes. that, like we have on our, our smartphones. Yes. Um, is that necessary? Do we want that? Does the fire department want that? Rebecca Who's paying that. for that? Where where is that money coming from? Rebecca knows all that. Because it's one. It, I think it's one thing to have a one-time payment of seven hundred dollars that we find the money for. It's another to have just started our budget and have a monthly payment for three, six, nine, whatever number it is that we end up voting on. I You're guess. talking about a major budgetary implication. Exactly. So again, do you want to table this until Rebecca's here? She would have the answers to these questions because she talked I mean, to the fire chief and she's the liaison. Okay. Well, it's been moved and seconded. Uh, I'll it withdraw. hasn't I'll yet. Withdraw. Okay. Okay. So you want to table this then? Yes. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not hearing enough, enough 
But I want. So, I, I feel like we've been asking these kinds of questions from day one, and, and we have not gotten the answers to them. Talk to Rebecca. Exactly. Well, we have tried, Jason, and you know, this was supposed to be entertained because there was money in last year's Master's budget right. in the trustees' budget for this purpose. I myself am not. I don't want one. Right. Okay. It is not. It's not a tool you would use. It, it right. It just would be a waste of money. The way, given my age and <laughs> the way I function. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm speaking I I, for I don't know if my age has any. I think I resemble that. that. I am not a tech person. I like hard copy. Anyhow, and I want to go on record that I would support it for the fire department tonight. If we were to entertain it tonight, if we want to table it, that's okay with me too. I, I, I heard questions and we would need answers. Yeah, I think, I think we should get the answers. All right, so okay. let's table this to our next meeting. Okay, right. sorry Katie for uh, all your hard work on this topic. <laughs> now we only have three more things that I that Let's I go, yeah, move. Um, the plat. Uh, yes. The plat. Sally, do you want to talk about this yeah. or should I? It, I believe when and I think it is wonderful that we have Peace Park designated as an historic site. However, I also believe that this community and our visitors to the community would look at this and say, gee, I wonder why the rock was designated as an historic site because it is totally without any explanation. I asked Jason to work with me, and I and would like to propose that the plaque, that this board support and purchase a plaque to go not where the Nimi plaque belongs, the historic commission plaque will be removed from that. The Nini plaque, the sister city plaque will go back where it belongs and the new plaque and the historic marker will go on another rock that I have looked at with blue and I would like to suggest that the wording on the plaque read, at this location on February 27, 2004, Mayor Jason, and I want his middle initial, which he hasn't told me. M. M. Jason M. West performed 25 same-sex marriages. The action of Mayor West paved the way for marriage equality to be legalized both in New York State and across the United States. And I'm going to move that plaque I'm not going to allow the mayor to vote on it, so I hope that I have unanimous no, I support. I, I will second. Okay. Um, any discussion? No, um, I think it's great. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 I mean, Aye. abstain. You are welcome. Right. And I am sure, Jason, that there are many, many people out there who are very grateful for the action that you took. It was significant. Thank you. And I actually got to marry some of them after the it was legalized in New York, and it was a very, very it was heart not heartbreaking. What's the opposite? Of heartwarming. 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 It was heartwarming. I hope not heartbreaking. It was heartwarming not having the same couples there, but no cameras. It was very, it was very. Interesting. <coughs> um, all right. Well, thank you for that, um, all of you. Um, we just have two more things. Uh, first, I, oh, how do, how do I um, do all of you have the revised um, reorg? Yes. With the with the yellow with the bond attorney. I'm not sure everything is on it that needs. To everything be. should be on it on the one that we have with that has a yellow line on the bottom. Yeah, yeah, but we don't have. We do not have the police commission. We do not have. Do we have, do we have an official one? Yes. Because this is from, this is from last year. Then didn't they get rid of the police commission? No, they, they got rid of, they repealed the law that created a, a separate, separate police commission. But they have, but they oh, they have are, yes. they have separate and we should have a rest. So we, we want to, Tom, do you, I hear Sally, the former police commissioners, 
um, <laughs> want every ladies onto the police commission. Is that something? I would like Ariana to take it because she has done it in the past. If she's willing to do it, I otherwise. Totally willing to do it. Do you want to okay. add it? Or do you want to take something? Uh, we can add it. Well, I, I also. I mean, well. I have a whole I, bunch. Yeah. I oh, wait. Also been, okay. uh, what? You I guys should have sent this to me before because just put it in. I was contacted by Irene Berner about a year ago uh, regarding the Rail Trail Association and have been going to their meetings since. So I would like to continue as their self-appointed liaison, but now officially okay. appointed. I have that. I'm, I'm like the okay, secretary, so, so you've I'm got happy that? to go. <laughs> A problem, Jason, and, and what I'm going to do if she would like me to help her do it, is I, I pulled out the reorganization agendas for the last, our last years together. Yeah. And each one is different. And so it. Katie and I, if Katie is willing and the board is willing, will work out a shell sure. fully Designated core agenda. She said this one was based on last year, and Nancy and Will spent, as I would add, Nancy and Will spent most of last week editing and changing. And right, so and so we can happily do that. And I went back to 2011, which is very different than 2012, which is different than 2013. So I think it would be most helpful to the clerk if we had just an outline form so that she can just fill in every year and we don't go through this. Um, we used to have the Ulster County Transportation Council, Jason, of which you served on. Right. And that is, about, and because that, that's now Brenda. Hmm? That's now Brenda, that's not a board. Well, well it's very, very Brenda, important Brenda, that we have a representative Brenda, given the Brenda. intermodal stuff that we're doing. No, we do, we have Brenda. Okay, so Brenda should be appointed there. Okay, so we've got, hold on, Rail Trail, Ariana. Police Commission, Ariana. Ulster County Transportation. I have a question for Tom. It is my understanding that the Downtown Business Association is sort of defunct. I haven't heard a thing from them uh, since Julie went over and took over this New York Rising right. activity. So I think that's... I would, would I would be I would be happy to contact her. Let's find out if there's and uh, determine they're whether not. they're going to function in it. I would like to suggest. Would you like to be the liaison to the Chamber of Commerce, of which we should have one? I, I certainly could be. Yeah, I've done lots Instead of things of like that let's, in my let's keep, life. Let's keep DBA on there until we hear from them that they, yeah. they've. Just Let me. Been. I'll contact Julie yeah. and All find right. out what the story is. Tom. Yep. We ne have not had an. Uh, I think Ulster County Planning. Board. That's Brenda. Oh, I, oh no, no, you're, 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 you're Thank you. Be County Planning board. board should be Morty Swightman and and. Brenda and Brand is the alternate. Yeah, and uh, from County Board. Know, the Southern Ulster Alliance does not need. <clears throat> no, they never finished the project, huh? I uh, I, I tried. Well, well, I wouldn't say that they didn't finish the project because the trail connections are happening and the county executive has taken it up, but. Um, I, I've done all the research that I could possibly do to find out when and where these meetings might be held, and from what I was told, they are they not held. Okay. And so if, it, as it, it like, lays on to the rail trail, the Walk Hill rail trail, you needed to do the other, you could, right? Right. Right. Okay. So should we should we leave it on there, or are you are you sure they're they're disbanded, or are they just in the low period? I mean, it might be it might be just you know a lull where. It's not meeting because they're, the project was taken on by. I think entities. that's. I think that it was eaten in. I, I I would take um, it off. But but I, I mean, who knows if it could let's possibly keep, be let's keep it, in let's the keep future it on or there. something else comes right. up. Yeah. You know, that could be outreach to us. Okay. That. All right. So. What else do you have, Sally? Um, we don't have any of our inner internal committees listed anymore, such as personnel, finance, liaison to departments. Which well, we, we haven't done that do. in years. We mm -hmm. haven't done that in a, in a decade, the liaison to departments. A year, in 2011 and 12, we had them. Fire department was the only one. There was I a bet. parks and recreation. Yeah, there was a couple of odd, other odd things. We did, we did have them, so. We didn't, all right. well, I, I know because we all stopped right. I see before. Katie's got the correction on our bond council, okay. so what that's good. Um, 
I, th I personally think that the Housing Board and the Landlord-Tenant Committee ought to go off until such time as we have functioning committees. We do have a functioning Housing Board. It's moving slowly, but it's functioning. They've been meeting. We have not approved the anything that we were supposed to. We've been, they've been working on the local law. That's what I'm talking They're about. We don't have a local law that allows it. They're still working on it. It's it's an ad hoc group. It's just not okay. in the code. Okay, so if it's ad hoc, it shouldn't be in the reorganization meeting agenda. And tenant landlord the same. We do not have. Tenant landlord is in the village code, so right. As liaison, you bear some responsibility for for trying to get it at least trying to get it up and running again. Okay. Um, do you want to leave it on then? I'd like to leave both on because I, I know think Rebecca we is leave working tenant on. Tenant landlord on because it's actually in the code. That is. But I think housing board maybe should be taken off because right. as ad hoc we. Why don't we just call we it ad hoc housing board? Because we've, we've already appointed people to it, you know. It, but we don't have a law that allows it. N no, but we have we have a group of people who we've appointed and are working on it. I'm just saying it exists. Um, it just I, its I purpose is to create a law to allow more authority. I don't really care, but I think we it should. It matters to me. Would you mind more, leaving it on? It doesn't matter to you. It matters. To okay, me. then we'll leave it on. It doesn't matter to me. I think for the planning board attorney, we ought to specify. Just, but, yeah, just add it, add I'm sorry, Sally. I just, I'm going to just change it though to ad hoc housing board. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That way, that way it's Whatever makes you comfortable. I'd like to specifically say George Rodenhouse for Rodenhouse and Shale for We're the planning board planning attorney. Board. And Victoria and Katie helped me say her last name. Polydor. Polydor. As the ZBA attorney <laughs> specifically. So why don't we mention, we'll mention, mention both. Like Victoria Polydor. Yeah, both. Rodenhausen Channel yes, policy. That's yeah. what I said. Okay. Mm -hmm. And instead and Ruth, of Rich Ruth Bernier and Marius or just yep. Marius. Yep. If if you prefer if that's who you expect to do. Well, and then do. for policy approvals rather than those that are stated, I would like to move all policies adopt be readopted by the Board of Trustees because we have a lot of other policies that we have adopted in the last three years. And it is my hope and Katie's hope that we will very soon be able to give you two things to peruse and approve, a new policy book and then a new employee handbook which contains pertinent policies, two new handbooks that we have been working on diligently and are almost done. So those are my changes and I will move the reorg agenda. Hold on. Hmm? Hold on. Oh, you have some more? Yeah. Well, and just and, and even if we're going with the same company, it should not be this guarantee, and we should we should be getting a bid where we're recognizing okay the rate the rate is exactly the same the rate is they have to increase it five percent they have or whatever it might be or asking them to decrease it five percent you know I think like these are the kinds of things that you know we were we were in a situation where we you know did not have a renewed contract from our former attorney for instance and you know i think if we just did this every year we don't have to worry about that kind of thing well more i would prefer and it's not part of my motion on the reorg we can make it a separate motion if you agree is i think our engineers should be on retainer they are you and i have talked about this jason and i really think they should be they are because what do you mean they are? They bill us individually for everything. Yes. Clouser does. Do they? Water yeah. house. Water house. No, whose budget the same amount every year? What am I thinking? And um, you could break it into two retain retainers, one for water and sewer. Well, do you two want to work on this and come back to the board with a formal proposal? Uh, I mean, no, I think I'd like you to do it. <laughs> nope. I mean, if we're doing this, 
right now anyway, then this is something that we would do next for, year. For next, obviously for next but, year. But, um... You want to work on? I mean, I've already been thinking about it. So okay, let's do it. Yeah, you guys come up with something for next year. Actually, yeah, no, I'm interested also. Yeah. I believe that we, we should, if not every year, we should certainly periodically uh, go out to bid and have uh, other information on available attorneys. Auditors. Auditors, yeah. you know, like the, the whole thing. It's like an employee evaluation. Yeah. It's exactly the same. I don't know if we want to burden uh, ourselves and or the administration with doing every one of these every year. Well, let us just see if what right. Ariana and I can come up with. We'll work yeah, with I'll Nancy. I'll consult with you, but. You want to work well, too? Well, but the three of us shouldn't be really meeting together. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> On. Well, we'll work on it. Yeah, but it, I have. It's just, it's just, it could be short. But I have so moved good. the adoption of the okay. reorganization. Well, I, I have no oh, holidays. Um, are these the? Are these federal holidays? They're in the contract. Well, well, I mean, like, are these? You know, I, I guess I just I think about like, all right, Good Friday and Christmas. What about Rosh Hashanah? Or I, I mean, I'm not. You know, I don't particularly care. These are the federal. We, that's, what, that's what my question is. I don't mm -hmm. know what the federal holidays mm -hmm. are because I don't operate. Although Good Friday is yes, not. Yeah, good Friday is not a federal good, holiday. That's, good that Friday the number not. one that stuck out to me was Good Friday. Because, it, I mean, Christmas Day, I feel like that's, a, you know, that's federal. Yeah, it's also a cultural get off of, right. off of that day. Other than Good Friday, they are federal is, holidays. Is Good Friday in the contract? Hmm? Yes. Good yeah, Friday. Nancy has said that. Nancy, again, drafted yeah. the holidays beforehand and said that. So this is what we have done in the past. And by contract. I, I thought it was what we've done in the past. I was wondering if it's by contract or if the. Well, it, with our union, it is. Okay. And then the rest of the employees are Which I guess like that same privilege. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but my, my, my bigger question was are these federal, are these all federal? It, no, it's right, it's not. Okay. No, at least nobody told me it was. Okay. Okay. Um, if there's I a motion have, on the table, um, I have been moved. I'll second. Yeah, um, Jason, Jason, as amended. As amended, yes. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. My, Aye. I have. And then you said we're doing the policies separately, when right? that was not part of No, that, that, that was uh, no, all I moved, I changed it. I amended it to say all policies. It's not just these. Right. It's all policies. That was one of my amendments. Okay. I heard you say that. I mm -hmm. thought you wanted to vote. That was, a good, that was a good idea. All right, so we only have one thing left to do, and that's go into executive session to discuss personnel issues. Okay. Can I just ask the board's permission to do something? It has come up with CIT. Blue agrees, but I have to talk to the Shade Tree Commission. We have a liability, potential liability issue with the sweet gum trees on the side of the building. Um, Why? Because people are falling on them. They're on the sidewalk. They fall quite regularly. Oh, 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 what? oh so, yeah, 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 yeah. I see and, them fall. Yeah. And both blue no. and uh, both blue and the CIT, because we had a meeting this morning, recommend that we remove them and replace them with red bud trees mm -hmm. of a decent size, so that red buds grow very quickly, and they are a native well, tree. What would a shade tree say? I have. That's why I, I need to ask you if you all think, and then I will pursue it with shade trees. Like I haven't even gone. I don't want Trees. Hmm? No. Business. Both, both CIT. I know what you meant. No, both CIT. It, it's the same problem. You have, you'll have slippage. You'll have mess. You'll have bringing in things that you don't want. Speaking of which, Jason, the deer last night was in Peace Park drinking out of the pool. Nice. Perfect. That's because I chased it. Very sweet. But anyway, I just want to know. I think it's interesting. I think it's interesting, and we should get more information. I think it's no, no, no. I need, just need to know if I should pursue this with shade tree. Because if we, we don't agree, it. I'm not going to pursue, pursue, pursue it. Pursue with shade tree. That's All right. what I said. You, yes. I still, I still uh, 
would like to see something. Yeah, she's got to pursue it, but she's not going to decide anything. Right. Right. The recommendation is red bud trees. I know Jason R. loves the fruit trees. I don't think that will fly. Well, let's see what they say. Okay. And All right. Let's see what she's input is. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I, um, I'll move but it is a liability issue. It is. Um, I move we go into executive session to discuss first. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.